breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be small, Tindo Haposo over the presidential election tribunal. Anxiety won't swallow people. Yes, so they're waiting patiently for the result to be announced. But must I tell you something? Yes, you need to hear it. There are people who want to use tricks, okay, all kinds of tricks to ensure that they are the ones taking the lead. You know, they are the ones going on. And guess what they want to do? The plan is to cause problem. Okay? Uh, for instance, we are hearing, Najita has told us that there is a plan from Tinubu according to her. And that plan is that Tinubu wants to make sure that, you know, um, he use this Nije whole issue and matter as a distraction so that, you know, he can stay in power. That why is Tinubu so bent, hell bent on going to war with Nije despite all the warning that has come? Why is France not doing their own thing? Okay, why is France not doing their own thing? How come you are the one, you know, standing in for them? Have you thought about it that there may be more to this? Have you really thought about it? So these are some of the things that are happening. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Presidential Election Tribunal. Anxiety as Nigerians await judgment. As the five justices that heard the election petition filed by the candidate of the People Democratic Party, Alaji Atikwa Bubaka and the Labour Party, Peter Obi, at the Presidential Election Tribunal challenging the victory of Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the February 25th presidential election, prepares to deliver their ruling on the matter. Nigerians at home and in diaspora and the world at large interested in Nigerians matter are filled with great expectation that the judges would rule based on facts and figures presented before them and based on technologies or any other consideration which they have looked on. Recall that the independent National Electoral Commission had on March the 1st, four days after the presidential election held on February 25th, announced that Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the winner of the presidential election. According to INEC Chairman Professor Yakub Mahmoud, Tinubu pulled 8.7 million to beat Alaji Atiku Abubakar, who came second with 6.9 million. Peter will be INEC put in the position of third with 6.1 million. INEC chairman stressed that by that score, Tinubu met the first constitutional requirement of gaining the highest vote among all candidates. He said he also scored over 25% of vote cast in 30 states, which are more than 24 states that are constitutionally required. With this declaration, many Nigerians felt that INEC has neglected a very important constitutional requirement, which <clears throat> states that a candidate must score 25% of the vote in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Abuja, to be declared Nigerian's president. From INEC record, only Labour Party candidates who came third met the requirement. Tinubu and Atiku did not. But INEC, in his own wisdom, did not consider that as enough reason to deny Tinubu the victory, having scored the highest number, according to them, in the vote cast, and having scored 25% in more than 24 states of the Federation. However, that declaration did not go down well with Labour Party candidates and its counterpart in the People Democratic Party. PDP, as they felt that apart from the fact that Tinubu did not score 25% vote in the FCT as required by the Constitution, the election were also met with irregularities. They were of the view that Tinubu did not win and that INEC was wrong to have declared him as the winner. And what followed was a legal action from both candidates at the presidential election petition. So. On March the 21st, 2023, Obi approached the presidential election tribunal 
with a petition to, cha to challenge Tinubu's victory in the February 25th presidential election. He alleged that the election was characterized by irregularities, rigged mani manipula manipulation of election results, in and suppressors of voters' will. The ballot buses and papers all made with Togri and much more. Tinobu claimed that his running mate, Kashim Shatima, they was not disqualified and did not have a double nomination. This other candidate has also proven in court was not the case. There is also the case of the £460,000 he forfeited in the United States, which he has not denied. However, in their argument, they say that, oh, in the argument, they are of the opinion that after 10 years, that case should have been done and dusted and uh, nobody should bring it up. So when you look at the whole matter, when you see what is going on, you understand that the presidential election tribunal has a great work in their hands. And everybody, all Nigerians, all eyes on me are waiting patiently to see what the judgment will be because we cannot continue with this with lies being propagated at us and expect that things will suddenly change it doesn't work that way no it doesn't work that way so the presidential election tribunal will have to with all the evidences that all the following candidates uh, peter obi atiku has presented to the courts will have to consider and look upon it and tell us who really uh, you know really you know should be the president because Einek has done what they can do. And surprisingly, should I tell you, Einek is supporting the candidate they declared. It ought not to be so. Einek is supposed to declare results and leave it at that. Then the candidates, if unhappy, would, the premise is that they will take the matter to court. Einek should be free, you know, and no, 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 no strings attached to be able to move their hands off it and say, here are two, we have done what we should do. The election has been conducted, and if you're if you're not satisfied, go to court. Then the court takes it from there. However, Einek is in court, you know, trying to defend the results. So all Nigerians are saying, Einek, is there something that you need to tell us? Why are you working so hard to ensure that you cover this thing neatly? Is there something else we need to know? And that is because Einek does really have something to tell Nigerians or and they should really explain to us why you know they they they, they, they are not covering or why they are covering or trying to you know to declare and to you know when somebody is trying too hard to prove to you then you should be suspicious leave us a comment god bless bye for now